Cops are sworn in to protect common citizens and are trained for duty. But what happens when the authority meant to enforce order becomes the source of chaos? Here are four times when idiot police officers arrested soldiers. There's no damage between our vehicles, though. I don't well, give a I, f Bro, you f ah. Get out the ah. car. Get out. Ah. Okay. Get out the car. Okay, I'm Get out the car. I'm getting out. There's no need for that. This is Officer Ryan Wingo who on the 10th of May 2019 was patrolling the streets of Malvern Road, Garland, Arkansas. Officer Wingo found a red car allegedly over-speeding and honking at him, which was being driven by a disabled veteran, Charles Donner. The officer immediately started chasing the car when suddenly the driver slammed the brakes, pulling his car over to the side of the road. Officer Ryan failed to put his feet on the brake pedal in time and bumped his police cruiser behind Charles' car. Here is what happened next. Pull into the parking lot. Pull it to the parking lot. Okay. 16 Hot Springs. Go ahead and send uh, one of the normal units over here to the uh, shoot factory. I had a car slam on the in front of me. Both parties then pulled over in a nearby parking lot where a strange arrest is about to unfold. Black registration insurance, sir. Why are you pulling me over? Because you're following me too closely. Nearly ran to me. No, I did not. You slammed on your brakes. You had no brake. You had no turn signal or nothing. I had to turn around on the car without speeding. I'm doing my job out here, sir. Give me a last. You hit me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll see you in court, dude. I had a car following me too closely. Nearly ran to me. Turned around. Got behind it. And it slammed on the brakes in front of me. I was unable to stop. I was 1038 between my own and his view. No damage. Your sergeant out here too? Yeah. Make it out and look at my car. Hey, right, take a seat in the car for right now. We're on traffic stop right now. Hey, okay. You hit my fucking car. We're on I traffic stop right now. Out here. I want to see the damage done to my Give me a minute. We're on a traffic stop right now. Once I get done with my traffic stop. For falling too closely. I was not falling too close. Clearly, you were. You hit me. You stopped in the middle of a roadway, sir. No, you I didn't stop. I got over and I was I was in the lane. You trying to speed the back up. No, no I was trying to speed back up. Okay, you sir. You slammed on your gas. Okay. And you hit us. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I'm so I told you why I stopped you because you were following me too closely. But I wasn't. But okay. okay. We'll see in court. Okay. Do you have an idea on you, ma'am? You don't need your ID. Yes, I do actually for the accident report That's that you fine. so that you so want, sir. Yes. I do want it. Okay. You fucking hit me. There's no damage between our vehicles, though. I don't well, give a I bro. You ah. hit me. Get out of the car. Get out. Okay. Get out of the car. Get out the car. Okay. I'm get out the car. I'm getting out. There's no need for that. Why are you doing that? You're under arrest for disorderly conduct, sir. Ooh. Hey, call your dad. There's no need for that. There's no need for cussing. There's no need for cussing. Stand up. Stand up. I'm trying, okay? Come on. Take a seat. Until you can calm down. Okay. Why are you doing this? Ma'am, there was no need for cussing me out. Until he can calm down and act like an adult, <laughs> he's going to sit in the back of the car. Let me explain to you. My husband you... has severe PTSD. Severe. Severe. He's a hundred percent disabled veteran, and he is fucking. That's why I'm here. You going to talk? You going to talk to me? You going to let me talk, or you just going to interrupt me the entire time, ma'am? I'm sorry. Okay. Until he can calm down and act like a human being and stop cussing me out for no reason, so I'm trying to explain to him what happened. But he doesn't want to let me talk. Okay. So do you want to let me talk or not? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. The supervising officer appeared on the scene and ordered the release of Charles. Charles was still issued citations for following the police vehicle too closely and stopping the vehicle on a highway, even though a traffic stop was initiated by Officer Wingo. It was more, you hit me. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm turning around for you over there. And you hit me. And just kept on escalating, escalating, escalating. And you started cussing me out. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm going to have to calm down. Put the handcuffs, put them back in the car. I mean, 
He just wanted to start cussing me out, and I told him I was gonna knock the deal with that, so I pulled him out. Yes, sir. This incident caused further distress in Charles's condition, who at the moment paid his fines to move on. But later, both Brittany and Charles decided to take civil action against the corrupt practices of Officer Ryan. The proceedings of this case remain unknown until now. If you think this was a highly unfair arrest, watch what this DeLand officer is about to do next. I don't understand why, you, why you're why you doing this, why you're pushing because me Because I don't like people testing me. I don't like people I don't not like following my Nazis orders. Nazis either. Okay. This is Officer Johan Morello of the DeLand Police Department, whose career took a turn for the worse on the 14th of September, 2017. On the 14th of September at around 7.35 p.m., Officer Johan Mulero and the officer he was training, Paul Turner, responded to Orange and New York Avenues to reports of someone yelling at passing vehicles and pedestrians. The man in question was 67-year-old military veteran Alan Kidd. Here is how it all went down. Let's sit over here for a minute. Oh, I, I didn't know, I didn't know we were. You don't, I mean, you don't we see were, the power lines? I mean, I didn't even look up. Okay, well, maybe you, you should pay see. attention. Okay. Have a seat over there. Get away from me. Sit over there. You're pushing me away from you? Yeah, I don't need you stepping up to me like that. Sit down. Stepping up to you? Sit down, I'm gonna sit you down. I wasn't stepping up to you, sir. Sit okay. down, sit down. Do you understand that? When yeah. I tell you to do something, you do it. Yeah, is that right? Okay. You're on a power trip? Is that what it is? No. Okay. I need you to listen. That's what's up. Who are you? Um, I, was, I was just on the street and me and him were just talking. I mean I, okay. I, I mean, I saw that he was distraught and I was just trying to help him. Okay. I appreciate your help. That's true. Do you live around here? Yeah, this is next street. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, sir. Yeah. You're good to go. I mean, I was just trying to help him. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Just All right, man. Okay. God bless. Okay. I hope you're back. Yes, sir. Okay. What's your name, man? My name's Alan. Alan what? Kid. Kid. Yes, sir. Are you homeless? No, sir. I am not homeless. Okay. okay? So what's going on with you today? Nothing. I'm just standing on the street corner talking to this guy I just met. And all of a sudden, you're pushing me down and being real physical with yeah. me. Yeah. You know and why? I don't understand. No. I okay. don't know why. Okay? Lower your voice. Lower your voice. Really? Okay? Do I have to do this? Yes, I'm telling me? you the voice. Okay. Listen to me. Because I'm going to tell you one more time. John? I'm going to tell you one more time or you're going to go to jail. Is that right? Lower your voice or you're going to jail. Listen to this guy, okay? Do you believe in this? Lower your yes. voice or you're going to jail. I'm not. Oh, I'm you're not going to go to jail. So listen, we are going to start over again so you can learn. Go ahead and keep moving forward. I'm going to lay you out on I'm the ground. I'm just trying to get more comfortable, okay? You are going to calm down and we're going to have a normal conversation you and I, you're going to understand why I'm here. Okay, If tell you me. shut up and listen for a minute, you will understand. I'm ready. We were called here because you were here supposedly yelling at the cars and causing a scene. Negative. Okay. Let that, me, that, are you going to stop talking so I can explain negative, to you? Negative. Okay. You're about to go to jail. I wasn't yelling at you're any cars. You're about okay. to go to jail. That is the last time that I tell you. Next time you're going to have handcuffs on you and you're going to jail. We were called here based on what, what's going on. Whether it's true or not, it is not, I have no clue. That's why I'm here, to figure out what's going on with you. When you walk up to an officer and you get that close to an officer, it is not good. Why? Because now you're in my personal space. So I am telling you to back up, and when okay you don't back up, you, when okay you don't back for, up for you, yes, when I give you an order, space, right? Because okay? when I give you an order, because you're on a power trip, because when I give you an order, badge, is that right? Because when I give you an order and you don't follow it, that's what happens. I told you to back up and you didn't. I told you back up again, or I'm going to sit you down, and you didn't. So I sat you down. That's how it works. Is Do that you understand how it works? that? Yes. So what's going on with you that you're yelling at cars or whatever? I'm Where are you ye yelling at cars? No, sir. Okay. Absolutely Where do you live? Not. Where okay. do you live? I live in Deland, North Deland. Okay. 
No, where in I'm North Atlanta? Way, I'm on my way home, okay? Okay. Were you having some kind of issue? Did you need some assistance? Absolutely not. This guy was just trying to help me and be a good Christian. Help okay? you on what way? In what way? What uh, do you need help with? A spiritual way, okay? Okay. Do you live with somebody? No, I... Okay. I do you have I ID on you? Huh? Do you have ID on you, sir? Yes, sir. I sure okay. do. This is where Officer Morello loses his cool. When veteran kid asks Officer Morello why he's acting so rude and pushing him around, he says, I don't like people not following my orders. I don't understand why, you, why you're why you doing this, why you're pushing because me Because I don't like people testing me. I don't like people don't not like following my Nazis orders. I Nazis either. Okay. Are, are you done? Can I show you my ID? Give me the arm. Give me your arm. Can I show you my ID? Hold on, let's get his backpack off. All right, stand up, man. Can I can I have my ID Be back, quiet. please? Spread your feet. I don't understand what I've done wrong, okay? Have a seat. Officer Morello uses excessive force to arrest Mr. Kidd and detains him in the custody of Deland's police department. Kidd served a two-day sentence for resisting an officer without violence. Mulero was terminated following the revelation of the body cam video a year later, as the arrest was found to lack probable cause and thus did not have any legal basis. The police chief confirmed that Mulero had undergone mandatory de-escalation training for all officers, but failed to apply the acquired skills. If you think this was the height of injustice done by a corrupt cop, watch what unfolds next, where an officer unlawfully arrests a former soldier who had served his country. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, call your dog off. Doing? Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Sir, call your dog off. Call your dog off. He just bit me. This is Officer Maurice Taylor from Gastonia Police Department, who is about to commit a heinous crime, using his taser on an innocent animal. On October 13th, 2021, Joshua Rohrer, a disabled veteran who served in the Army National Guard in Iraq, was found standing on the road with his dog, Sunshine Ray. Officer Taylor encountered him and requested that he vacate the area and clear the intersection. After a lengthy argument, Joshua eventually complied and temporarily left the area. According to him, he often stood at this intersection because people were aware of his situation and frequently donated money and necessities. However, after a while, he's found again at the same intersection. The same cop, Morris, shows up again after his colleague, Officer Sierra Brooks, calls him to the scene. Morris and Joshua are once again engaged in an argument, but things are now about to get violent. I told you to move from over here. Hey, boy. You told me what? I told you that you had to move, man. I did move. No, you can't, you can't panhandle over here, man. I'm not panhandling. But when I saw you, you were, and you're still, no, I'm not you're still here in the middle. Okay, I don't so have brought, a sign or anything. Well, you did when I saw you initially. No, you didn't. Okay? No, you didn't. I haven't had, a, I've never had a sign. I haven't had a sign for You're money. asking people for money, brother. I'm not asking anybody for money. <laughs> you were. No, I'm not. You, you cannot. Not find anybody oh, okay, okay, that. listen. The fact still remains. You cannot stand here in the middle of the intersect in the middle of this intersection right here, okay? Where is the law that says that I can't stand oh, here? Oh there there are many laws, no. Uh, no. Well, all right now, you're now I can I can I literally didn't ask her for I can that. literally Did, listen, I, I didn't ask her for it. You cannot stand in the middle of this area. Money. Okay? You need to go. Or Where's going, the statute that says that I cannot Okay, stand here? I'll show you. I'll show you. But as of right now, if you don't move right now, I'm gonna take you to jail. You, okay? For what? I'm, I'm, not I'm gonna tell you. You I'm cannot, a homeless person. I'm okay, a homeless you person. Cannot stand, you and cannot you're, stand you're, in the middle of this intersection. But there's no law that says I can't stand here. There I'm is. Not asking for this money. is this is not a sidewalk, sir. This is not a sidewalk. This is a this is a this is a median for vehicular traffic. According to the Gastonia City Code, it's illegal to solicit or accept goods or money from people in cars on any city street or median. You are you are out. You're, you you, can't listen, drive on that. You are out in the road. I'm telling you right now. Okay. I'm, well, I'm, if you can show me okay, something that says okay. that I cannot yes, stand I'm, right I'm, there, I'm, I'm letting you wrong right now. This is not a sidewalk. This is the road. You are. This is the road. You cannot be out in the road. You need to be out on a sidewalk. You cannot stand here. You cannot. 
set up camp here. You have been here since I since the last time I told you to move off of here. I, if you want me to show you a statue, cool. But I'm going to show you a statue taking you to jail. You can't take me to jail okay. just for standing here, man. Like, so, I, so are you? I, so, I wanna, so, so I are you? See a statue. I don't have to show you a statue. You can look that up on your own. You can go to the police department if you feel like your rights are being violated. But you are in a row. When Officer Taylor gets to know that Rohrer is in fact a military veteran, his tone suddenly becomes humiliating. Okay, are you a you're, veteran? You're, Oh yes, I'm a veteran. I know you how to are. Play. You're a veteran. I know. Yes. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay. Man. Get off of the sidewalk. I'm gonna also need your ID. Yourself, man. Collect your things, and I'm also need your ID. Yeah, Next time I see you out here, brother, yeah, I'm going either I'm, write you. I'm, 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 I'm either write you. I'm either write you a ticket. No. I'm either write you a ticket, or you're gonna go to jail. I'm just letting you know what's gonna happen. Because you're here panhandling, you're that's what you're doing, brother. That bothers me, man. Well, you need to move off to the side, brother. Listen, I packed listen, up like you told I, me I just to. want you to know, you can go to jail for this ordinance. I if you, if you continue, listen, if you, conti if you continue to argue with officers, you're going to go to jail, and, you're, and, and, and we're going, and we're going, and, and, and we are, and we are, and we are going to call animal control for your dog. You got it. That's that. Okay. But so, so no. You cannot. You cannot be. You cannot. You cannot be here. That's fine. I told her I was okay, leaving. Okay, and I interpreted you asking for money because you're yeah, like that this. Is, that, and you, you walked to the car. Dude, you saw it. I was standing here talking okay, to him yesterday. Right now, you don't give me your You go to jail and call an animal control dog. For what? You're working get, get, a ticket get, for a crime can we get your I didn't ID? commit. Can we get your ID? Dude, I didn't commit this crime. But you're also in the median after I've told you not to be here before. Have, have I not said that? And that's why I was vacating because she asked me to leave, and I was literally walking up asked, here. Asked I didn't ask anybody money. for money. Okay, that's right. I'm taking this to trial. You can. That's fine. You can. It's gonna go to trial anyway. You don't even have to. Ask oh, it's me. going to trial. Oh, I know. You're wasting taxpayer dollars. Okay. Well, I pay my taxes too. There you go. No, we your state ID, not your VA this ID. This is valid. It's not valid. I, I need your state ID, not your VA ID. I'm gonna ask you one more time. It's not even valid. Give me it's your state ID. Uh, turn around. You're being arrested. Whoa! What's going dude? Turn around. Are you kidding turn me? You turn around. Turn around. Turn around. See this? Turn around. Somebody help me! Turn around. Hey! What are you doing? Stop! What are you doing? Mama! Hey! What are you doing? Hey. Call your dog off. 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 Sir, call your dog off. Call your dog off. He just bit me. He bit me. Call your dog off. To Charlie. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. We need, we need. To Charlie 10 City, we need more units. We need more units. Stop. What are you doing, man? Somebody help me record. Turn around. Record this. Turn around, sir. Turn, sir, turn around. No. Turn around. Why are you doing this? Two Charlie 10 said he tased the pole on the dog. Why are you doing this? Charlie 10 was bit by the dog. It bit my foot and I knew it was going to bite you, sir. Charlie 10 was bit by the dog. 10-4, it didn't break my boot, but it bit my boot. The officer tased the dog on account that it bit him on his boot. While it isn't evident in the footage if the dog did that, the dog ran away instantly from the scene, terrified, and later Joshua kept weeping for his pet dog. Help me! What are you doing? Negative. Relax and give me your hand. Why are you doing this? I haven't done anything. Cooperating. Sir, his dog, his dog bit me. Help me his dog this. bit me. His dog is never I get you, but when, but when we are out here me. trying to get something from him and it won't happen, I have to do what I have to do. The dog bit me, okay? No, it didn't, because you shot him with a taser. Please help me. Why are y'all doing this to me? They asked me for my ID, ID and then he grabbed me and tackled Sir, me. Because you wouldn't give it to me. Floor. I was in the process of handing it to you. Okay, okay, we're doing what we have they to do. They tased my dog. They tased it. Please record this. It's really sad how the dog 
Please record this. Why are y'all doing this to me? This is the all the time. Dude, I get it, but it doesn't change the fact that the dog bit me. Okay? Can y'all just back up, please? Did you see the dog bite his foot? Dude, he tased my dog. Of course. Like, seriously, why are y'all doing this to me? Okay, but we have to do our job. We have okay, to do our job. Y'all didn't see the whole story, so just back Dude, up. Dude, you didn't either. Y'all so are you harassing me. Don't need to be nice right now. Really need to be nice. It's all about the porn joke. It's a porn joke. It's a porn joke. It's a porn joke. Well, you did not hear this. You did not see the whole story. Please help me. Somebody record this. Thank you. I need your information. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please help me, they're trying to kidnap me. <laughs> did, did he see the dog bite? <laughs> I don't know what they did with Sunshine. Where's my dog? Sunshine Ray. I need my dog, she's my medical device. Where's my dog? Where's my dog? Where's my dog? Where's my dog? Where's my dog, man? What are y'all doing with my dog? Where's my dog? Wait a second. District Attorney Travis Page, during a Gastonia City Council meeting, declared that Officer Sierra Brooks and former Officer Maurice Taylor would not face charges. In January, Brooks underwent a three-day disciplinary suspension without pay, as reported by the Gaston Gazette, while Taylor resigned in February. On July 6th, Rohrer's panhandling and resisting arrest charges were dismissed, as reported by the Gazette. Subsequently, he pleaded guilty to an unrelated charge of driving with a revoked license and received a two-year supervised probation sentence. Sunshine, his dog a few days later, was struck and killed by a car. If you think the idiocy of cops ends here, then you haven't heard of the case where Officer Steve Ermis arrested a military soldier. There, my hands are behind my back. No, Chris, keep the camera on me. On you. Can I ask you what I was doing wrong? This is Army Master Sergeant C.J. Grisham, a serving American soldier and veteran of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, who is about to witness idiot cops overstepping their boundaries. On 16th of March, 2013, Grisham, along with 15-year-old son Chris, who's recording this video, went out for a hiking trip along the pastures and country roads somewhere in Texas. Grisham, carrying an assault rifle for hunting, was stopped by cops from the Temple Police Department. For those who don't know, in Texas, openly carrying a rifle or shotgun is permitted, provided it is done in a manner that does not intentionally provoke alarm. Here is what happened next. There you go. Now I want you to record this. Is it recording? Let me Put see the back. Behind your back. Let me see the back side. Put your hand behind your back. It's okay, great. now I'm gonna do everything Put your you hand say. Behind your hey, dude, there. Put your my hand hands behind are behind back. my back. No, Chris, keep the camera on me. On you. Can I ask you what I was doing wrong? Until you, I can find out you can legally have. So, so you can just stop anybody in the world for rudely displaying? Yes. Oh, how am I rudely displaying a gun? I'm walking. Just unhook it right there. Keep the camera on me. It is. After he's handcuffed, Supervisor Sergeant Menix appears on the scene, further aiding the allegedly illegal arrest. Sir, is it against the law to carry an open firearm like that? Well, let me answer, let me answer your question. No, it's not. I've done nothing illegal. But yet this guy decides he wants to get against the car when I've done right nothing. To no, he has no right to disarm me if I'm not breaking the law. Yes, he does. Because no, he does not. Yes, sir, he does. No, he doesn't. If he feels yes. threatened, he may disarm me. You have but I have done nothing. Where's your identification? Shut up! I'm talking to you. Where's your identification? Freaking sergeant, at? right now. It's oh. in my pocket. Which pocket? This one right here. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, am I accused of a crime? I'm not late. I, I do not consent to you going through my wallet. I do not consent to you going through my wallet. Is this on camera? Do you have any more guns? I do over not. Here. Yes, I do. I have a 45 on my side. On my left side. Do you have a concealed carry? Yes, I have a concealed carry permit. Okay. Sir, you have no right to go through there. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, he didn't ask me for it, did he? Not with you carrying this, no, sir. 
I wouldn't have asked you either. He could have asked me for my concealed carry permit. But no, even if is, I had no. a concealed, did not have a concealed carry permit, no, I can walk around with a rifle. When you alarm people and they call us, then we can come Okay, and, you, and, and did you explain to them what the law is, sir? They don't care what the law is. They're, but do you care what the law is? This day and age, they're alarmed when they see somebody with weapons. Do you have I, any I more weapons I, on you? We have the right, by law, to disarm you until okay, we Okay, do you know what that them. law says? That law says if you feel threatened, you and I felt threatened carrying this. Well, I'm if you threatened. feel threatened, then you're a sorry excuse for a police officer. Well, then I'm. You're, you're Me and my son. a loaded you're rifle. It is loaded, I but it's not chambered. Oh, okay, well, I, I don't know that. Hey, I feel threatened because you're carrying a loaded firearm. We're licensed. We're licensed. We're exempt from the law. You ain't exempt from the law. Yes, we are. Wait, you guys think you are the law or something? No, you have to follow the law. Are you taking my firearm? Uh, Okay, now, can we figure out what I did against the law? Why did you stop me? Because we had a call. We had a call. Walking around with, with a firearm. Okay, and you came out, and was I doing anything threatening, officer? When I asked you to stop, you continued to walk, then you did stop, and you turned around. I told you I was going to take the gun. As with whoa, 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 no, no. no. You started resisting back. Oh, bullshit. Hey, when you told me to stop, I stopped. You said, come here, and I stopped. You didn't say it on your loudspeaker. If you said it, I didn't hear you. I turned around and I stopped. And no, you, I didn't do it on loudspeaker. Exactly. So I, when you, when I heard you say stop, I stopped, didn't I? Didn't I? Hey, dude, do you have? I've got a bad back for my rack. Will you let me stand up straight? Hey, Thank you. Uh, I'm trying to get my back straight because you're killing me. What a bad excuse you guys are showing for police force. Oh, actually, it's a bad excuse as a bad so I'm going to have to Go ahead and take the gun and secure it. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. You I did am. not, you did not. Hey, that. listen, I'm not going to sit here and let you lie like this, okay? You did not ask me for my gun. You just started taking it from me, okay? That is not how you disarm a citizen. If you would have said, sir, will you hand me the gun? Or, sir, will you drop the magazine? I would have done just that. But you wanted to be a self freaking prick. I'm not, I'm not getting in the habit of doing that for anybody with a firearm. That's dangerous. What, just because a guy's got a firearm, he's dangerous? Yes, sir. See, that's the problem with the police force today. You know? No, sir. That's yes, it is. I'm, a, I'm an Iraq and Afghanistan what war veteran. What would you do if you came up with somebody that was armed like that in Iraq? I can, to drop this isn't Iraq, dude. Doesn't We're in Temple, Texas. People shoot just as quick here as they would anywhere in Okay, the how many CHL holders shoot like that? Point one eight percent of CHL holders commit crimes. Point one eight percent. You never asked to disarm me. You tried to take my weapon from me by force. I have a right to disarm. No, you, you. do not. Yes, I do. You have a right to disarm me, but you can't take it from me. Yes, you can ask me for my weapon. You can ask me for my weapon, but you and cannot I'm not take it from let me. You put your hands on it and shoot me. Who said I was going to shoot you? I dude? don't know you. I don't know you either. You could be a rogue cop. You guys aren't all saints. Now, can you tell me what I'm being charged with so I can go about my way? Right now my you're son being and I. Detained. Why am I being detained? What have I what crime have I committed? What crime have I committed? Why am I being detained? I'd like to do this in front of the camera, please. No, I'd like to be in front of your camera. You're under arrest. You're going to jail. What am I under you arrest for? What am I under arrest for? I did not resist, sir. I called the full mom. When did I resist, sir? You guys have had everything off of me. said, where's your weapon? I showed you my weapon. Where should I go? Screwed up with a, a law of license. Your officer manhandled me for no reason. You guys have got to come up with some sort of charge.
How long are you keeping the engine? Okay, because we're gonna file a lawsuit. All right. Don't worry about it. He's gonna take you home. Okay. These guys aren't bad guys unless uh, unless they get embarrassed. You can turn it off now. Grisham is put under arrest and instructs his son that they'll be filing a lawsuit against them after a lengthy legal battle. The proceedings concluded that the questionable arrest and conviction on Thursday, March 23, 2017 was legal. The court asserted that a law enforcement officer is not obligated to specify the law being broken during an arrest. The ruling raised concerns about the system's integrity, favoring the protection of the police over the rights of individuals. It's saddening to see our national heroes and the people who have served their countries for their lives wholeheartedly being treated like this. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and drop a thumbs up. Until next time, goodbye.